And hello everyone, in today's tutorial we're gonna build a layout for our application and we're gonna split our application into smaller pieces, rather components, which we're gonna be using in the layout itself. So let's go for it. Go with Sloba. Okay, let's start off by building the components and then we're gonna proceed with building the layout. So we will need four components and you will see in a second what components are. So let's close this utils folder and we wanna create these components inside of the components folder, obviously, but not in the UI folder. This folder is reserved for FATCN library. So let's create a new file in the components folder and let's name it as sidebar.tsx. Obviously, this is a sidebar component and this component is gonna hold all the links that we have on the left side. So make sure to put this component outside of the UI folder and let's place it inside of the components folder. Let's click this on move and let's close this UI folder. And now inside of the sidebar, we wanna create a component. So let's just use this fast shortcut sidebar like this. The next component is gonna be navbar.tsx. And this component is gonna be placed on top of our application. So inside of this navbar, we're gonna place a drop down. Once we are on the mobile view, we're gonna display this mobile menu and also toggling of the theme and profile link. It's gonna be also on the navbar. So let's create this component like this. So I can save this and also I can close this file because we don't need it. Now let's create another one. So let's call it as links dropdown.tsx. And as I mentioned, this component is gonna hold the links once we're on mobile view and we're gonna get that as a hamburger menu with a drop down links. So once again, let's create a component. And the last one is gonna be theme toggle.tsx. So this component is just gonna be a button which essentially changes from light to a dark theme. R-A-F-C-E, like this. Okay, now I can close all of these components. And what we can do is we can go and work on our layout file. So let's open the app folder and inside of this dashboard, so don't open this global layout, but we want to target this dashboard layout file. And here we're gonna place all the components that we just created. So first let's import components. So let's import navbar and let's import sidebar for now. And now let's update this return. So I will just remove this div for now. And here I want to return a main element and inside of this main element or actually let's add a class name to this main element and inside of this main element i want to define how our layout is going to look like so on these small devices on mobile devices i want to have a grid with one column layout and starting from the large screen i want to transition towards grid calls five so i want to have a grid with five columns one column is going to be for the sidebar and four columns is going to be for our page itself okay and inside of our main, we're gonna have a div and this div is gonna hold our sidebar. And the reason why I place the sidebar inside of the div is just because I want to have the classes in the same layout file. The other approach could be to place all of these classes inside of the sidebar itself. Okay, so let's add a class name and I want to hide a sidebar when we are on the mobile view. So this is why we are setting hidden by default. And then starting from the large screen, let's set it to block. And also we wanna set the span or actually how much width this sidebar is gonna take. So starting from large screen, we're gonna set the column span to be one or one fifth of the entire width. And four fifth of the entire width is gonna be taken by the page itself. Also let's set the height. So on the large screen, let's set the minimum height to be screen, which essentially takes the entire viewport like this, okay. So now let's create another div and inside of this div, I want to place the navigation and also the page. So let's add a class name. And here I want to define what is the width of this column. So let's set on large screens, we want to set the column span to be four. So this is going to take four columns out of five and one column is going to be taken by the sidebar as we said. Okay, and inside of this div, let's add a navigation, so navbar, and below this navbar, we want to render the children. So the actual page. So let's add a div because I want to add some more classes and I only want to add some padding. So let's add a class name. And here I just want to set some padding that we're gonna have in our pages. So let's just add a padding on top and bottom as 16. And let's add on very small or mobile screen to be four on the left and the right. So this is for small screens or rather mobile phones. And starting from small resolution, which is actually for tablets, let's add PX8, so left and right eight. And starting from large screens or desktop, 
let's add the px to 16 like this and now inside of this div i just want to render the children so whatever we pass into this layout like this and as you can see we have the sidebar on the left side we have this navigation on top and we have this add job page which is essentially a page that we are accessing to and as you can see this sidebar is only taking one column out of five and if you resize our window we can see that on some resolution we actually lose the sidebar and we only have this navigation on top and we have our page and this is all for this tutorial in the next one we're gonna start working on the sidebar and application is gonna start looking a little bit more like to what we're gonna get at the end see you in the next one and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there code with sloba thank you for watching the entire video to see more videos like this click here